Cancer, I hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Cancer, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Cancer, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you, Cancer. First card in the world. This is a travel card. Your angels are telling you that they're going to gift you some tickets, something that is going to help you travel. Maybe that dream vacation. Maybe someone is going to say, hey, can you come join me? I can't go. Or maybe my person that I was with can't go. Or maybe this is even a ticket that you're going to win on the radio. But you will be going on some sort of travel. And right now, the most important thing is making sure that your energy matches that vibration because there is a little bit of resistance. You got the tower there. I'm going to show you how to clear that energy so you no longer have to be waiting for something but instead watching it manifest before your eyes. It works like a charm. Now look at this. You got the Page of Swords, Lover's Card, High Priestess, and the King of Swords. Yes, please. This travel is going to make you feel a lot more strategic and you're going to come up with a game plan. Now on top of that, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, Oh, the moon and what? The fool. So definitely your financial opportunities are about to be very abundant for you as well. And I'm going to show you exactly how to really not only use this trick I have. It's called the, uh, the wish factory trick to be able to get what you're looking for. But never have to wait for it, which is the most important part. That waiting is lack. Now, it's cancer. Your affirmation for today is I am attracting money right now. Yes, you are. Quantum entangled with this energy. Let the universe know you are ready for money by writing this down in the comment section. I am attracting money right now. What you're doing is you're using affirmations, which really means effortless attention. You're using the law of attraction to invite money into your life, welcome money into your life. Let the universe, your angels and guides know you command, assume, expect money. This is your birthright. Who better to have money better than you, Cancer? You're going to help everyone when you have wealth. Right now, write down I attract money right now. Write this down in the comment section. Invite that energy of money into your life. Right now, you have so many good things going for you. You are you have this magnetic energy that not only are you attracting wealth and money into your life, but you're also attracting people that match your energy. This is so important, right? You have you don't have this one foot in, one foot out approach. There's this energy about you that's very abundant. This is the winning hand. Everyone wants to be around it. The only thing you have to do is maintain this energy and understand that when your mind focuses elsewhere to bring it right back to where it needs to be. So rather than focus on what you don't want, focus on what you do want. This is easier said than done, but I'm going to show you how to do it. There is some limiting belief, some sort of resistance here, just a little bit, right? Once we clear this energy, you're good to go. And this energy right here is stemming from a timeline or something or something or a moment or, you know, even a trauma from your childhood or a previous relationship. There is some deep-rooted shadows that when they come to the surface and you clear them, it's almost like a way did best off your shoulders and I'm going to show you how you don't have to you know wait for them to make their way to come to the to the surface but instead almost invite them in because you no longer fear them because fear is just really lack of experience right for example someone who's confident physically and knows how to protect themselves what do they have knowledge they didn't start out like that someone who is confident in business what is that nothing more than knowledge that's what confidence is they know market research due diligence they study company's balance sheet right now the only reason that you may feel fear in your heart is because there is some sort of lack some sort of scarcity some sort of fear of abandonment your inner child there's something going on here that's scary you you gotta understand there's nothing wrong with you or broken with you this is completely normal but the person who wins in this life is the person who addresses this shadow rather than buries it because that's what ego wants now i also do see here major downloads in the near future and your angels and guides are telling you to really have your it's not your eyes and ears, but your feelings, your heart, your heart coherence open to be able to see these opportunities when they're presented to you. It's one thing for your angels to present an opportunity to you, but it is up to you to take advantage of it, right? So right now, strategically, to be able to capitalize on that energy by coming up in the game plan when you see this energy manifest. So for example, your angels and guides bring your soulmate into your life, but it's up to you to be able to woo, click, and you kind of just, you know, feel vibe with them, right? It's just like your angels and guides bring 
building a business opportunity in your life, but it's up to you to capitalize on it and take advantage of it and not let fear tell you, oh, we'll do it later or this or that. I see right now major confidence building in you. And I see that not only you are going to be feeling more this entrepreneur leadership energy, but people around you as well, third parties, whether it's, you know, coworkers, friends, your boss, anybody. This means more promotions, more bonuses, more people wanting to network, collaborate with you. This could also mean people wanting to invite you to functions. And this is so important because, for example, my wife and I, we met at a birthday party. We were both invited to the party through a mutual friend. So we indirectly were hooked up. And this is what I'm saying. Like when you're in a good vibration, everything comes your way. Now, I also see financially significant progress about you doing something that you are you know, passionate about taking place as well. So not just waking up and going to a job that pays well, but also waking up doing something you love. For example, I wake up and I sell pet supplements on Amazon. I wake up and I have, you know, Airbnbs. I wake up and I have YouTube channels. I love all this stuff. None of this work. I would do tarot reads for free anyway. I was doing them 10 years ago. I had a fanny pack with my tarot cards in there before this was cool and trendy. Now I got some cameras in front of me. We're traveling the world. We're going to Dubai next. We're just South America. Right now we're in Australia. We're going to Thailand actually next and then Dubai. And then North America, <laughs> we're back to South America and we're doing the shebang all over again. I'm a regular guy who figured it out. I'm gonna show you how to do it as well. And the reason I'm telling you this is because you also have the travel card right here and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the Wish uh, Factory technique to get it. So right now, you gotta understand that your conscious mind tells the subconscious mind what it wants. The subconscious mind gets it done. The subconscious mind does not care whether or not this is good or bad. It just gets it done. I'll explain this. So imagine you have a factory owner that tells you they create wishes. They say, anything you want, I will produce for you. So for example, if you're going for a walk, you see someone on a yacht and you'd like the yacht. If, as long as you are visualizing yourself on the yacht, the factory owner will go and set up a series of events for, you, for it to take place. So for example, the factory owner says this, I have two stipulations. The first one is don't email, text, or call me. I just want you to think and feel something. And when you do, immediately telepathically, I will know what to do and I will go tell my crew, my workers, how to go get it done. Now, the second stipulation is I don't have time to babysit your manifestations. So for example, if you want something, as long as I get that, that message, I'm gonna get it done. But I don't have time to decipher, no, oh, this is good, no, this is bad, are you sure? I don't have time to do that. So make sure you message me when you want something done. Now, replace the word, factory owner for subconscious mind and replace the replace you for conscious mind. So the conscious mind will give you a small example says, I want to go uh, grab coffee. The subconscious mind goes, I'm gonna get it done, no problem. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go put on our shoes, look at our phone, look at Google reviews. We're gonna jump in the car, punch in the address. Once we get there, we're gonna you know order. Do you see how the subconscious mind set this all up? You don't have to do anything. The conscious mind goes, I want this. Subconscious mind goes, I got this, right? This is what happens, right? Now you gotta understand when you have a thought, your conscious mind only can set an impression. Speak to your con con unconscious mind one way only, through your thoughts and feelings. That's it, right? So that's how you speak, through impressions. Then the subconscious mind creates expressions and goes, I'm going to get it done. So that's why it is essential to control what you think. And this is literally how it works. When you, for example, tell yourself, I want to start a business, the subconscious mind will be like, all right, great. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on YouTube, type in how to start a business. And then after that, anyone we meet, we're going to ask them. And then after that, at nighttime, we're going to visualize. It's going to set everything up for you to do. Now, if you're asking yourself, well, why have I not got what I want yet? It's because you change your mind, right? From one minute, you're like, I want to start a business. Then I don't think it's going to happen. Then maybe it'll happen. Maybe it won't happen. And the factory owner is just getting all these orders. And it's like, oh my goodness, my head is spinning. What do you want me to do? You see where I'm going with this? So control your thoughts, control your feelings, control your reality. It's simple as pie. You got this. All right, Cancer. Now, final message. No, excuse me, not final message. Your animal spirit, my favorite time. Skunk spirit, look at the message. Know your worth. Know you are a divine spark. You are part of God, collective consciousness, source, spirit, universe. Same thing, higher power. You are part of this. You are meant to be balling out of control and enjoying life. You are not meant to suffer. The ones who figure this out are the ones who are successful. That's it. Why are people here? and they're successful and why are people here that are suffering? It's not because, you know, the universe hates them, right? It's just the game that we're playing but if you know how to play this game, like for example, it takes the same energy to think small as it does big. 
It's the same thing. Think big, right? It takes the same energy to think of something going wrong as it does to think something going right. Simple as pie, right? But it's easier said than done. You gotta practice. And that's why you're watching, you're reading, because your spirit is letting you know exactly how to get this done. Now check this out. Final message from your spirit, guys. Renewal of peace. What a beautiful card. Look at her. It's like baby Bambi sleeping with a little fairy wing. She looks beautiful. All right, so right now, the message is, it is important to maintain peace with all aspects of your life, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. Inner imbalances can often manifest in your daily life if you don't make time to take care of yourself. Uh, you know, as within, so without, right? So right now, in order to change your outer world, you have to change your inner world. In order to change your outer world, you have to change your inner world. There is no way around this. How do you change your inner world? Waking up early, eating healthy, exercising, visualizing, learning, uh, taking some time for yourself, how, controlling your thoughts and feelings. You don't even have to do all these things. Just pick and choose. Pick and choose what you want to do, right? And if you do them all, fantastic. But right now, changing your outer world is easy. You can do this. Remember, you are the co-creator with spirit. But changing your inner world gets it done. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.